Lou. Let's talk about the dress Let's for a minute here. <laughs> you are a Who the uh, creation is that? Gucci. Gucci. Gucci, of Harley course, Gucci. Gucci. Sure, the and Gucci. the color is great. It's like a nice morning bright. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really is. Now, did did Patricia Field pick this out for you? Pat did not actually, no, unfortunately. Wow, no. but you've learned. You've learned. I had a friend of mine actually help me out. It's great. Yeah. Patricia Gorgeous. Field is the uh, the dresser on uh, Lucy's yeah, new show. Yeah, she does all the costumes for the and, show. She worked and with did you. Kelly's she, I show was too. lucky enough to work with her. She's just... amazing, and she's so fun to work with too. She's the best. But she did <laughs> Sex in the City too, right? Yes, of course. All, all the, the great shows. Mm -hmm. Anyway, welcome back to New York. I'm thrilled to be here. Are you still living w with your brother? Yeah, I'm still living with my brother. He's actually he him and his. Um, they're married. He's married now. He's so we're married. all living together, yeah. Well, what's no, that, yeah. That's much that's to their chagrin, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what do you think uh, um, your brother's wife thinks about this arrangement? Uh, I think she, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> were you a, pa a package deal sort yeah, of? Well, I don't know. I mean, we get along so well. Oh, and I mean, I, I always introduce her as my sister. Mm. Oh, so that's people nice. always nice. think, you know, so they don't know actually that she's my brother's wife. But she's, she's like my sister to me, and she's amazing, and we... We just have a really good energy together. It's nice. So. It's terrific. Yeah. So this is your home in New York. Yeah. And they get privacy, I think, enough. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you give them some quiet time alone? I give them alone. some quiet time <laughs> when they need it. Do you think that you'll ever, you know, live uh, separately? Do you ever think about moving out on stri striking out on your own, oh Lucy Lou? <laughs> Probably will at some point. Um, I just, I don't know, I don't know. I just have to, I'm just kind of living my life for a little while and see, seeing in the meantime I'm just a, attached to them. Now you must never be home though because of your work schedule. And, yeah, my work know. schedule is really crazy. Actually, mm -hmm. I have some time now and I'm going to go With off to friends. Europe for a little mm -hmm. while and spend some time there. So. so did you shoot many episodes before the writer's strike? And uh... We shot seven episodes well, and good. we've aired two, so we've got five left, which uh -huh. is great. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you have free time right now. I have free time, yeah. So how are you spending it? Well, I'm probably going to go on a couple of UNICEF trips, mm -hmm. um, and that's always something great because you can be with the children and you can kind of send a great message and, and see what's going on out there. Because usually you, you kind of have to work around your schedule, and right. so this time it's kind of great. And you can bring that message to people at charity. Sure. It's always important. What mm -hmm. else do you do with, with, with your life? Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm painting. I have, an, I have an art show coming You're up You're an in artist? Munich. Yes, a painter. Painting by Lucy Liu? Yeah, <laughs> doing painting. I love saying that name, Lucy Liu. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you have an art show not so long yeah, ago? Yeah, I did in, in last September and um, donated all the proceeds to UNICEF. And so this time it's going to be in Munich and I'll donate my part of the proceeds to UNICEF again. Nice. That so, is terrific. Yeah. That's what? a great thing. Very good. What is your style? Uh, it's, it varies. I mean, I have some, you know, I'm working on this sort of idea of this ukiyo-e sort of transcriptions from the 1600s, which are these oh, wood oh, carvings. Oh, oh, <laughs> Ukiyo-e, right? Yeah, yeah. I remember him. <laughs> <laughs> they're like these, from the 1600s, they're like these wood carving prints, and mm -hmm. so it's based on that idea, mm -hmm. but they're pretty larger, like five by six feet sort of thing. How long does it take you to complete a work? It just depends. Like, I'll start something, and then, you know, I'll, I might have to leave it for a little while and then come back to it. I mean, you know, I think in any art, it's frustrating. You can't. I mean, sometimes it, it, you can do it in two weeks, and sometimes it'll take you, you know, two years. It just depends. But didn't you start as a little girl, a little Lucy Liu, and, you know... Baby Liu. And then knew you had that? Well, I started doing collage mixed media assemblage mm. when I was, like, 16, and then continued oh, wow. to do that with photography, and then started moving into painting just a few years ago. Sure. What chance you know? do I have? No. <laughs> Not at it's all. It's too late. We're going to talk about Cashmere Mafia, <laughs> okay, your new great. show, okay, Lucy? When do we come back? <laughs> Lucy Lou. Lucy Lou. That looks there, nice. He, there, he may not be able to leave the studio. Yeah. <laughs> he may have to cut a new door for his head. <laughs> you just said you met some people who were with me and George Clooney out at Lake Como. We had a great night that night, yeah. didn't we? Yeah, they said you came in and you just a wonderful time. made their whole yeah. vacation. Have you ever had, gone to a dinner party with Regis? No, I, I highly recommend the, the, it. The it's, pleasure of that, yeah. It's really? the most fun you'll ever You're have. You looking forward to it? Regis, I'm ready for my invite. <laughs> really? Yeah. Where would you like to go, Lucy Liu? Anywhere. I'm completely open. Aren't you? You're a regular at a lot of different places. Absolutely. Aren't you? Every, you name a place, I'm a regular. <laughs> 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 Let's talk about Cashmere Mafia. Now, there are four women involved here, right? Yes. And they meet, they meet at mm -hmm. business school. They, they go through business school. They learn what they want to do. These are friends. 
powerful New York exactly, City women, yeah, right. power brokers. They yeah? become close friends, and then they go out separate ways and become uh, chieftains in the business world. Yeah, we're sort of still working our way up in the corporate ladder. Mm -hmm. So you kind of see the, the balance and the struggle and, you know, part of the comedy of how we're trying to get it together. Yeah, and what are their personal lives like? Um, their personal lives vary. There's two women that are married, and there's another one who's not sure if she's if she's straight or if she if she's gay. And my character was uh, engaged in the first episode, and then her her and her fiance are competing for this promotion, and she gets it, and he doesn't feel like he can be with her after that, and so he he drops her. No kidding. Yeah, he like a he hot is. Potato. He's <laughs> overwhelmed by her status, huh? No, I just think that I think he feels kind of unable to go on after that moment because he feels like something has been taken away from him. And that's your character. Yes. Yeah. So how do you handle that? Not that well. <laughs> she doesn't handle it that well. Um, I mean, you know, you sort of see it unravel as the as the episodes go on. How she kind of goes back and forth. It makes you wonder about women's positions in the business world and how they affect their personal relationships. Yeah. I mean, it's hard. I think you, you want to be able to say, you know, isn't this good that, you know, I won and, and fair and square, but actually she, I don't think she realized what she was going to lose in the end, and she didn't really think that it was going to be a problem, you know? In any event, your mom is also a part of the show, and here she is in a scene from Cashmere Mafia trying to help you cope with your, your personal situation. Exactly. Take a look. Mia, have you been um, seeing anyone new? Mom. Jack and I just broke up. I never liked him. You are much smarter than him, and he knew it. I have someone better. Oh, no, no, really, Mom. No, no, really, Mom. This one is it. No, you always think that they're it's, and they're not. Jason Chun. He's a doctor, Mia, and he's never been married. No. Just moved here from Stanford. No. And his mother says he's very handsome. Oh, like that's not the kiss of death. And he wants to meet you for coffee at 5 today. What? Mom! There's only one way to stop her. Dad! I'll meet him, but only if you promise me not to try again for a minimum of one year. Maybe. Mommy just wants you to be happy. I am happy. Very! Look around! Happy! Mom, I mean it. One year. I am marking the date in my calendar. <laughs> Boy, if that isn't the truth, huh? What an honest scene that is, yeah. Anyway, Cashmere Mafia Wednesdays, ABC at 10 o'clock. Lucy, always great to see you, guys. Thanks so much.